guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you around my childhood home. It is a 3,200 square foot house with a finished basement and it's four bedrooms and five bathrooms. Let's go. I'm going to show you now. So when you first enter my house, you're greeted with a really big open foyer. When you look up, you can really see, you know, access to the bedrooms. And then when you look kind of all around, you get access to a bunch of different rooms. And let me just start off with this room. So this is my parents' den, or really my mom's office growing up. She would sit here, I have so many memories of her sitting here and doing her work, and I would come as a tiny child and try and bug her, um, you know, as kids do. But yeah, my parents really like wooden furniture. They like wooden floors and trim. So you're gonna see that all kind of throughout the house. That's really their style, and I think it looks really pretty too. This is actually my basement over on this side, but I'll show you that in a minute. And then as we keep going, this is the kitchen. So this kitchen is, again, really woody, and it's all cherry cabinetry. The trims of the whole house are actually oak, and um, my parents have like really tried to take care of it because they just like that appeal. This kitchen is really, really big and spacious. It was perfect, I think, when we were growing up as well because we would play out in the backyard. So if you look at over on this side, this is actually a really nice big sun deck, which is perfect, big family, everyone outside playing. And you can see it, my mom could see it from the kitchen. And then over here, this is really like the main backyard area. My dad has a garden down there, so he'd be gardening. Over on the right side, we actually have fruit trees. Not sure if you can see that. I mean, it's winter, so they're not in bloom. <laughs> and then as you carry on, this is my family room. Me and all my siblings would just sit here and watch shows and chat, and this was like really, really homey. The fireplace was sometimes lit in the winter, but when it was, I loved it so much because it gets so cozy in here. And as you carry on, now we're going to the mudroom area. So even though I entered from the front entrance, this is really where we usually entered from. So we have the laundry room, and then really the mudroom entrance where we come in and take off our shoes. A nice little powder bathroom over here, which is super handy for when we're about to leave the house. We can just go in there and see what we look like. And quickly, I'll just show you to the right of that is our two-car garage. Sorry, I just got echoey. But one thing I would love as a DIYer is to have this room down here, a workshop, and it's heated and it's nice. Um, right now it's a mess, so who knows, maybe I'll cut that part out. <laughs> but my dad used to have like saws and sanders and all the different um, stuff for like woodworking and fixing stuff and I just would love that now as an adult but unfortunately when I was a kid I never used any of that stuff because I was never like that adventurous but now I would be. So now we'll take you along back through so again that was my family room. This is actually another one of the bathrooms. This is like I don't know for some reason one of my favorite bathrooms when I was a kid. I think just because I thought the colors were pretty in here and like the um, the tiling I thought was pretty. <laughs> I don't know, I'm weird. And then you'll notice the main floor is actually a bit of a loop, so everything's kind of connected back. So I'm going back to the kitchen to show you the living room and dining room. So this is like our formal dining room. There's also a piano. This was my baby growing up because I played piano for like 10 years um, until I like graduated high school. But yeah, what's funny about this space is we rarely used it. Really only when we were having like a fancy dinner or my parents were having people over. And then this is our formal living room as well. I think it's pretty cool that for all these years we've had these white couches and that we've managed to not dirty them. So my parents were quite strict, so it worked out for them. We have four bedrooms upstairs, which was perfect for my big family. We had some people sharing bedrooms as well, and I was one of those people definitely sharing a bedroom. This first bedroom is my sister's room, and two sisters initially shared it, so let's go. 
This is one of my favorite bedrooms in the whole house, half because it's so spacious, even though this is actually a kid's room, so not one of the main master rooms, it is so, so big. I think it's like 14 by 14, big enough to have two people comfortably in here, like my sisters did when they were younger, they shared this space. And that's why there's two beds, so one over here, one over here, a shared dresser. Finally, one of the best parts about the room is definitely the double closet kind of situation that's happening here. One for each sibling. Right now, we just store prom dresses and stuff like that in here, but growing up, this type of thing is perfect for kids. So this is an amazing room to share between two people. I can vouch for that for sure. Now, let's go on to the next room. So over here we have our linen closet, which is perfect because we needed to store a bunch of, you know, sheets and towels and stuff in here. This was the kids' bathroom. And I say, it's kind of obvious that it's a kids' bathroom because there's actually two separate sets of sink. So this one was my sink that I probably shared with one other sibling. And this is another sink, which is really handy because there was many of us that needed to get in here. And then what's also cool is that these bathroom sinks are separated from, you know, the shower and toilet situation, which again, super handy for kids. So, yeah. Okay, so now follow me right around the corner into the second bedroom that's upstairs. Now, this bedroom is not quite as big, but it's still fairly large. It's also not as bright because it's facing the other direction on the opposite side of the house. Um, so it doesn't get as much light, but it's still really, really lovely. I'm not sure if you can see with the exposure around the window, but it faces over into like a lot of the trees and stuff, which is really nice. Um, we definitely started transitioning this room a bit into being a second office. So there is a bed in here. It could actually fit a bigger bed in here, definitely at least a queen size bed. But for right now it has big office furniture as well, which isn't ideal, but it's okay. And then we also have a really nice big closet in this room. Like we have similar to the other room, actually similar in all the bedrooms. <laughs> But what's cool about these closets, I'll just touch on really quick, is that although it looks like they're just this big, they're actually like from here to like here big. So when I actually show you the inside, as you can see here, it's actually extending all the way in to the edge of the wall. So these closets are just simply huge, which is really lovely when you're raising a family, you need to be able to store a bunch of stuff. But yeah, on to the rest of the upstairs. So walking along this way to my room and my parents or the master bedroom, here you can see the other view of the foyer. So again, I used to think this was so cool growing up, this little stair railing situation. Um, Cause I had just never seen that before. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Maybe I was just easily amused as a kid. <laughs> I think maybe that's it. Now we're on to my room growing up. But when I was growing up, we had two beds, the dresser was in the middle, and again, I shared that with another one of my siblings. It was really, I just wanna tell a quick story. When we were kids, we used to actually sit in the middle of our beds at night when we were supposed to be asleep and play games like Go Fish <laughs> at like 11 o'clock at night. So good memories. I love this space too. It's not quite as bright as the front rooms. It's not quite as dark as the second room, um, but it's still, it's really nice. And it's big, it's big enough obviously for two kids. And then over here, we enter the master bedroom. So this obviously is my parents' room. Um, again, really, really bright, really, really spacious. They have two walk-in closets. So maybe I'll show you one of them. This is one of the walk-in closets. Um, and then the exact same thing on the other side. My parents love, as I mentioned, wood. So you could see like wood floors, wood trim, and wood furniture, that was their jam. And then walking back this way, this is the master bathroom. So this jacuzzi, I also thought was really cool as a kid. Another thing that we basically weren't allowed to use, I think I probably used it once when my parents were away and one of my older siblings was babysitting me. But yeah, really fun as a kid as well. And then another shower, double sink, you know, the standard stuff. 
So that's really the upstairs. And then we'll head back downstairs and I'll show you the basement. Just like when I was a kid. <laughs> so now we go down to the basement. My parents pretty much always kept the upstairs perfectly clean um, when I was growing up. And the basement was kind of more our space. I mean, it was pretty much clean. Just one room was, in, was, was a little bit messy if we wanted it to be. This is our, what bathroom number am I on? This is our fifth bathroom, so it's a five bathroom house. And then as we walk around, this layout actually pretty much identically mirrors the upstairs as well. So I won't show you these two rooms. This is actually a really big storage room and that's an electrical room down there. And then here there's a, a little storage room under our staircase, which I thought was really funny growing up, just the shape of it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. And then as we walk straight, this was our playroom and kind of second family room, or I guess maybe, yeah, second family room. <laughs> so another wood stove here, we could just chill out here. There used to be a TV, so we used to play video games down here. And then over on this side, this was our playroom. And all of these closets basically had our toys in it. It was really, really great. We used to have like a little kitchen play set, a little like kids, dining set, like it was really, really fun in here. And this is really the room that we were allowed to keep as a little bit of a mess. Um, the ping pong table we had for a long time, but actually it never used to be in this room. It used to be whoop, over in this room. So yes, we had a room that was literally our ping pong table room. And it was so much fun growing up. Now it's kind of like, another office, if you will. So if we wanted to have a little group family meeting, this is where we would come down to, which I know sounds silly, but hey, it's what we did. And then over here is our walkout basement. So here you could just access the backyard, which is really perfect. And then finally, this is our guest bedroom. There is a crib in here for when, you know, little ones come to visit, which obviously doesn't go properly in this space because this is a random new addition. Um, but yeah, just another bed that's perfect for visitors to come. And then when they do come, they can like come and access the bathroom easily and all is well. But yeah, let's go back upstairs and I'll wrap this up. You know what, I'm gonna sit in the, in the formal living room just to be a rebel. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, then don't forget to like it down below or leave me a comment and tell me what you liked about it. You can also subscribe or check me out on Instagram. I'm at DIY Dahlia with an underscore at the end. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.